a lot of people have been complaining that they had issues with their COS that led to their visa refusal. So in today's video, guys, I'm going to be sharing with you on how this can be corrected. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Fajira. If you're joining me for the very first time, I'm so happy to have you all in our beautiful family. For my returning subscribers, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I really do appreciate it. God bless you. If you're new to this channel, I create contents on how you can migrate to the UK, jobs with visa sponsorship in the UK, UK immigration updates, live in the UK, scholarships in the UK, like everything you can think about the UK. So if you're someone who is interested in such content, do hit on the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell. So each time I upload a new video, you are going to be the very first person to see that. So in today's video, as Ella mentioned, that I'll be sharing a sample of a COS and what can be done in a situation whereby your COS have got any error. Also, the format in which you need to send your details to your employer to avoid such error. So if you're so always interested in it, do watch this video, like this video, and also share with your friends and loved ones. Someone may benefit from it. So recently, a lot of people have had issues with their COS. And once there is an issue with your COS, trust me, your visa will be refused if that is not rectified. So I'm going to leave a sample on the screen so you can see how the COS looks like. We all know the COS is a certificate of sponsorship. And for you to be able to move to the UK to work, you need a certificate of sponsorship from a company that is licensed to sponsor you. And a lot of people have been asking me, Fajira, how long is this certificate of sponsorship valid for? Some companies issue one year COA, some do two years, some do three years, some do four, and some do five. It depends on what the company is applying for. So if you're lucky to get a company that can sponsor you for three years, then they are going to issue you a COS for three years. And also when you go for your visa application, you will get a visa that is valid for three years. Some people's visa has been denied or be refused. That's because they've got an issue on the COS that was not rectified. I've, I've been able to work with a few of my subscribers that had such issues. It was rectified and their visa was approved. This is a sample of COS. It is written on its certificate of sponsorship, the name, the sponsor, license, and all of that. So now a lot of employers, especially when they are not going through your data properly, they tend to make mistakes with, let's say some errors like name, date of birth, place of birth, and so on. A lot of people who have had this error have come back to me with their COS and I've gone through it and they don't know what to do without even contacting their employer. So bear in mind that you as an employee, you do not have any rights to amend anything on your COS. Because if you do, like someone was asking me, what if I do the correction and just, you know, it may lead to your visa refusal. So all you need to do is when you notice any error, like date of birth, place of birth, or any information that you think is on your passport, on your documents, if you notice that there is such error, then the first thing you need to do is to contact your employer. Yes, you don't have to contact anybody but your employer to let them know that there is an error on your COS. Remember, the employer who is filling out this information on your COS does not really know so much about you. You know yourself the best and you also have all your information. So the first thing you need to do, like I earlier mentioned, is to let your employer know that there is a mistake on your COS. Once your employer knows that there is a mistake on your COS, just as you can see on the screen, that's a sample of your COS. All they need to do is to add a sponsor note. For instance, if your names are switched or there is an error on your name, all the employer will need to do is to add a sponsor note. Because once a COS is issued, you, it can be withdrawn if they want to. But if you want to make any other amendment, it's adding a sponsor's note. And the sponsor's note is a note that the home office will see on the portal. Because what happens when you go to apply for your visa, the home office will check with the company. Every organization that is licensed to sponsor you from overseas have got a portal where once your information is logged into that portal, the home office can have access to see if 
it is the right information or if actually this company are the ones sponsoring you like we all know that some people have now been using other people's cos i'm going to share that in another video so you know what is happening so you have to be very careful with your cos it's not something you have to be sharing with everybody so now what happens is the home office is going to log in to find out all the details that you have submitted if it is the same thing the employer has submitted on the portal so which is why when there is an error on your cos you don't need to stress yourself you don't need to do anything just let the organization that's employing you to know that there is an error on your cos and they will add a sponsor note so the sponsor note covers everything and sometimes if there are more information that the employer needed to add to your cos that they didn't have the space to add up maybe because they didn't have a section to add that information all they need to do is to add it on the sponsor's note that, because with that the home office will be aware of what is happening and they will be able to do whatever they want to do especially when you apply for your visa now a lot of people have been asking me fajira once my cos is issued how long am i going to have it before i go for visa application as you can see this is a sample of cos and this was assigned on the 10th of july every cos have that used by so it is valid for three months just below the date assigned you can see a sparing date which is used by you will not be able to use your cos after three months from the date it was assigned so i would say the cos is valid for 90 days so you have to use it within that period if you don't use it then it will expire so whatever you're doing if you're preparing to move to the uk this also try and start saving up for your visa application because i've had situations whereby some of my subscribers have said oh i've got my cos i don't have money now to apply for my visa and some of the cos that does not come with maintenance you have to put money in your account for at least a minimum of 28 days and the total amount you have to put in your account is 1270 pounds for a minimum of 28 days so just in case the employer did not take the maintenance then you will need to wait for 28 days for you to go for your visa application which is why i always advise that if you're planning to move to the uk this year ensure that you're able to have that money in your account just in case you find an organization that did not take the maintenance already you have the amount in your account so whenever your cos is out you just go for your visa application so now i have worked out this for you so in case you're in the process of getting a job in the uk and your employer have said congratulations you've been successful and so on and they're about getting information about your cos this simple format i'm going to share on my screen as you can see should be the format you should use to send your information to the employer reasons because once you're able to enter your information yourself and the way you want it to appear especially the way it appears on your passport it will be easy for the organization to use that format to fill out your cos so to prevent any error on your cos so just as you can see on my screen family name given names other names nationality place of birth country of birth date of birth gender country of residence passport number with a passport number it is always very easy for employers to make that mistake so i would advise that if you can enter it in this format and send to your employer it will definitely make life very easy for them it will make things very easy as well for yourself so you don't have to go back to them to say i have just spotted an error on my cos and you start waiting for the hr or whoever that assigned it so add the sponsor note and see as well issue date expiration day which is your passport then place of issue of passport address city or town country area district or province postcode so this postcode is basically for those who are currently in a country that they use post otherwise you just fill out the required information or with your proper address that does not have any postcode and you're good to go so i'm definitely going to leave this format in the description box below so you can copy it and use it for yourself just in case you're in the process of securing a job in the uk or you've already gotten a job in the uk and you're waiting for your cos or or whatever stage you're at so if you're able to complete your details in this format like i said it's definitely going to make things very easy so guys this is just what it is like i said the cos is valid for three months for everyone who has been asking me once you use it within that three months your visa will be approved but if you wait to use it after the three months then your visa will not be approved now another question i've been getting from a lot of my subscribers is they've got a start date and yet they haven't gone for their visa they haven't done anything 
they are kind of worried to find out if their visa will be granted or it will be refused don't worry it's not going to be refused all you need to do is to let your employer know before you apply for your visa so that they can add a sponsor note to your COS. So let the Home Office know that even if your start date has passed, they are still waiting for you to come and start. It does not have anything to do with your visa application. So don't panic. Let's say it was on the 1st of May and you're yet to apply for your visa. Don't stress much. The employer knows what to do. And once they do that, like I said, the Home Office, they have access to the portal. They will log in and check. And if all information is on the portal is the same with what you've got then there is no reason for them to refuse your visa so don't panic everything is going to fall in place but try and make sure that the employer has the sponsor notes and that's it so guys we've actually come to the end of this video and i hope you find this video helpful and if you do please do like and also share this video with your friends and loved ones and also if you're yet to subscribe to join our beautiful family please do hit on the subscribe button turn on the notification bell so each time i upload a new video you're going to be the very first person to see that video. Watch out for my next video. I'll be sharing what has been going on with COS now. People have been snatching people's COS. So you have to make sure you keep your COS safe. Bye-bye for now and thank you very much for watching.